Today is Thursday, December 7th, and this is a serious topic. Today, I'm wondering why Americans so like to shoot each other. Are all financial advisors fiduciaries? Fewer than you think, not knowing could reduce your lifestyle. Hi, I'm Mitch Kramer, founder and CEO of Fluent Financial. A fiduciary is a regulatory term to reduce conflicts of interest in wealth management. A fiduciary always works in your best interest. A non-fiduciary advisor might put their compensation or company ahead of yours. At Blunt Financial, we are certified financial planners acting as fiduciary advisors. To learn more, go to FluentFinancial.com or Fluent Financial's YouTube channel. Now, you listening may not be in charge of purchasing seasonings for your home, but you do know what tastes good, really good. Goodness Steak Seasoning is terrific. No sugar, no MSG, no gluten, great flavor. Get Goodness Steak Seasoning by going to the website bringthetasty.com. Oh, hail. No, I'm not cursing. That's the name of a terrific Dallas roofing company in business more than a decade. They handle residential or commercial properties. And those weird insurance forms that seem to be written in a foreign language? Oh, hail can simplify those for you also. So the next time something happens to your roof, just say, Oh, hail. O-H-A-A-I-L. Oh, hail. Dot com. Before I begin, I want you to know that this commentary is not about guns or gun control. This is something far more serious, a fatal sickness in America. But this commentary will involve guns. In fact, we are the most gun-happy country in the world. In America, there are one point two guns per person, 120 guns for every 100 Americans. The next highest number in the world, Yemen, where there are 53 guns per 100. Then it drops to Serbia, 39 guns per 100. And quite honestly, from what I've heard of Yemen, if I lived there, I'd probably own a lot of guns also. But this is not about guns. This is about America. Tuesday, we had a shooting in Central Texas, Austin, San Antonio area. Six dead, three injured. And then the suspect, as they often do, committed suicide. But this story hardly got any mention at all around here in North Texas and nationally no, no. It's, it's that we've gotten so used to these stories. They don't get our attention anymore. They just, they're part of America now. That's who we are. Two days before that, we had a shooting in Dallas. Four people dead, including a one-year-old boy. We noticed that one for a while, because it was local. Now, before we go on, I want to give you a definition. A mass shooting is four people injured or killed, not including the shooter. That's the definition of a mass shooting. Americans get shot while bowling, while going to school, while in church, while dancing, or while Walmarting. Here's one area where America can sadly claim we're number one in the world in mass shootings. And the number has virtually doubled in the last five years. In 2018, there were 336 mass shootings in America. The next year, it jumped to 417. By 20, it was up to 610, and then 690, and 647, and this year, we're over 600 and still climbing. A study of the mass shootings in the world 
from 1998 to 2019 showed that America had 73% of them in all the developed countries in the world. In case you're wondering where such shooters come from, 91% of them were born in the country where their attacks happened. Oh, we remember the names of the really big ones. They get stuck in our minds. Columbine, Sandy Hook, Uvalde, Parkland Elementary, the Las Vegas Music Festival, First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs, Texas. But it goes much deeper than that. The most recent big one, if you will, was in Lewiston, Maine, about three weekends ago. There were 18 people killed and 13 injured. But did you know on the same weekend the Lewiston shooting happened, there were 11 other mass shootings in America that weekend? Of the 120 deadliest shootings in American history, more than half of them occurred in the last 10 years. In his book, One Nation Under Guns, author, researcher Dominic Erdogan found that every day, 327 Americans get shot, more than 100 of them fatally. The question is, for God's sake, why? Why? We have our freedom in this country. The United States is one of the richest countries on the face of the earth, if not the richest. We have relatively good education and good health care. You can say the shooters are crazies. But that then begs the question, why so many crazies here? Why in our country do we reach for guns during a dispute at a family picnic or after a bad ref's call at a kid's football game or after we get fired or get into an argument with our spouse or the list of situations that occur in America is virtually endless. And the numbers are increasing frighteningly. And so is the numbness of Americans. And we are left with one question that gets louder and louder and louder. Why, here in a country with so many advantages, why here? Today's episode has been brought to you by Fluent Financial, by O'Hell Roofing, and by Goodness Steak Seasoning. Just Wondering is a production of DSP Media for FanStream Sports. You can find Norm's show along with other great programming at fanstreamsports.com. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Just Wondering. If you enjoyed it, please hit follow. Then each episode every weekday will be delivered straight to you. And if we might ask one more favor, please share it with friends. I'm Norm Hitzkus, and every day I'll be just wondering about something. And I'm Mary Hitzkus, and I'm just wondering too. 